Hi everybody, thanks for coming. Uh, guys, congratulations on the win. It's nice to see Hendrik Schmidt up here as well. Hi, Hi. Andy. He's a recruit. <laughs> um, guys, please introduce yourselves and then Coach Schmidt with an opening statement, please. Uh, Taylor Munson. Corbin Schmidt. Jesse Jenks. Yay! Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, you all saw what happened. We, uh, we went up by a goal. Um, that hasn't happened in a while, so we went up by a goal and, and uh, I thought uh, we played a pretty good game in the first period, pretty, pretty good period, sorry, in the first period. And then second period was a little lax. Uh, the urgency just wasn't there. Not really sure what happened, but uh, we just touched base between the second and third, and I thought our third period was, uh, you know, a little more back and forth than the second, and I and, uh, thought we battled hard. They tied it up. Uh, you got to give them a lot of credit. They're a good hockey team. Um, obviously, they're in, you know, the top of the standings um, almost every year, especially this year. Um, but, you know, we had we had the effort to guys like these, not not him so much, but um, I'm sure he was crushing popcorn and all that stuff. But uh, but but guys like Jesse who kept us in that game. I mean, um, again, Bowling Green's a great team and they had tons of great chances. And uh, Jesse shut the door for us and gave us a chance. Um, and this guy took advantage of the chance. Um, you know, we're down shorthanded. Uh, you don't get those opportunities very often, and and he made the most of it with a nice shot, cut into the middle there, and uh, getting a nice low shot off. So. Um, kudos to both these guys and the rest of the guys in the dressing room. Well, Taylor, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been a while, so yeah, it was nice to get one. Yeah, and getting that finish, mm -hmm. uh, just like Coach said, but you know, shorthanded. The opportunity was there, tie game, 8.8 .8 on the clock. What's going through your mind coming up ice? Uh, I saw I had some room to skate up, and I knew that there wasn't very much time on the clock, so I just tried to um, get a shot on net, and I was able to sneak it under his pad, so I got lucky. Uh, Jesse, I guess, uh, what does a uh, win like this uh, do for guys at confidence going forward here? Uh, I mean, we try and stay pretty even keel, so it's, it's nice to get the win, but we got to stay, I mean, we got to stay calm and go back there tomorrow and get another one. Yeah, almost the uh, same line of question uh, for you, Taylor. Um, you guys have had a win here since November 6th, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so now you guys in that streak, in a five-game losing streak. Is this the game, the performance that you guys have to kind of spring you guys to finish the season strong? Yeah, I think so. Um, the whole team gave a good good effort tonight, and, uh, you know, we got five games left now. So uh, every point counts, or every point matters. And uh, we just got to gear up and get ready for tomorrow. Uh, Taylor, I guess, uh, were you uh, expecting uh, to score on that shot there? Uh, I wouldn't say I was expecting to. I was hoping to, obviously. But like I said, there was not much time, and I just tried to get a nice shot on that, and it uh, happened to go in. So. Coach, I, I, this week with th three of your top penalty killers out, four, four big injuries to the lineup, especially without Tyler, um, just kind of talk about the, the team's rally this week, uh, and especially having the week off. Did that help a little bit kind of regroup? Uh, yeah, having the week off definitely helped a lot. Guys guys had some more time to heal up. I think, uh, as you guys all know, a guy like Tyler Morley is pretty tough to replace, you know. And But uh, I, I think the beauty of this team is, is, and I say it every time I'm up here, I feel like, is the character and, and the guys. You know, we put Nolan Heisman, who hasn't killed in three and a half years, we put him on the kill. He was great in practice all week on the kill. Um, it's guys like that who, who, when their number's called, they, they – they serve and they do things the right way and um, not only are they good hockey players they're good people so uh, we have no issues um, you know bringing guys putting guys in the lineup in different spots and and things like that because they know what they're doing as they prepare the right way so Jesse um, obviously you had a great game but talk about the guys in front of you it seems like well, there were shots you were able to see a lot of them uh, guys you know we were able to clear the puck as well you no know, denying those second chance uh, opportunities just talk about just the whole defensive effort from the team tonight yeah absolutely i mean the d-men played great in front of me i saw most shots if not all of them and then um a lot of shots from the point guys were blocking shots they were putting hands on it swatting it down all that kind of stuff and then if there was anything in front of the net that was even remotely close i had d-men knocking guys out of the way doing whatever they had to do to get over there uh Corbin, would you maybe talk about going into tomorrow's game, what to expect from you guys? 
Uh, yeah, I think you can expect the same same type of uh, first period. And, and it, again, something I hadn't really said was the way we responded after, um, I guess, uh, subpar second period. So I think tomorrow we're going to be a little sharper to start the game. Um, the guys got a pretty stern talking to after the second. So I don't think they want to hear that again. And, and uh, hopefully that's how we start tomorrow night is on fire.